coming back. Nah, it's a, it's a good song. It really, is a good song. The lyrics of the song, I think, because you know the beat. People that may not understand that what you're actually saying in the actual song. So, mm-hmm. like, explain to me what you actually are saying, because it seems like there's music and there's a relationship, and I like, understand that I'm not choosing one over the other. Yeah. So, how would you interpret it? For me, it's um, it's basically just about like I got my own personal like you know relation to the song, which might not be what everybody mm-hmm. else takes from it or interprets from it, but um, it's just about saying to like someone close to me, like family and stuff, like that I'm doing this, I'm doing my music and stuff because um, I'm not, do- I'm, I'm going off and chasing my dreams, but I'm not doing it just for myself, if you know what I mean. I'm doing it because. I want to benefit the people around me somehow and I want to try and make life better and I have to do this because it's like it's like a, a desire you know like a burning desire like I have to I've always wanted to do music and I, like I have to go off and and do it and make it happen somehow however possible but just to let people know that you leave behind that you're not that you're not forgetting about them and you're going to come back for them and you're doing it for them as well so yeah you're not going to leave them behind yeah that. yeah that's the sentiment of the song that's how I love it so is it for you now is it a lot of sacrifices then that you're having to um yeah i mean it's i mean i enjoy it so it's like it's good you know it's not like i'm going off and doing some terrible task that it's just draining it's like my music's my passion and stuff but it's just a it does take a lot of time you know and, and you have to like i don't see like a lot of my friends and my family and stuff a lot of the time and um i'll be in the studio late coming home late and leaving early the next day and stuff like that um but you know it's just life and it's normal. So like yesterday, you were at, what, what was it? It's a movie. Movie, yeah. movie, yeah. So tell me how you feel about all, the whole situation with Dappy getting his like, first number one as a solo artist. What, how do I feel about yeah. it? I feel good about it. <laughs> I, I like Dappy, man. I think Dappy's wicked. I've, I've always been a fan of Dappy from when he was in end ups. Some people don't like him, but some people were like, always cuss him on YouTube. I always see like calling him this and that. I don't know, he's, He's naturally a talented lyricist. Hey, Dappy is sick. I say it on my Twitter sometimes, and people are like, ah, he's just a chav and all, all these kind of talks, you know? And I, I don't know, like, whatever, you know, people have their opinions and stuff, but Dappy's sick. Mm-hmm. Dappy, like, as an artist and performer and as a lyricist and a rapper, like, I've always think, even as a character, you know, he's just, he's interesting and he's just, he's good, man. I'm, I'm happy that he's got, you know, he's doing his solo thing, and I feel like he's got things, a lot to say, you know? Um, so, you know, good luck to him, innit? So now for you, obviously, you're obviously working towards the album. Yeah. Right? So, roughly where are you at in terms of actually completing or turning over your album? Um, I, f- I feel like, I've been working on my album for like three years now, so I feel like, um, I feel like it's at a good place. There's like 13 or, um, okay, maybe 11 songs that I feel like, boom, I want these on that album. These are my tunes, these make me feel good, these is, you know, what I want to say. And um, even there's some songs on there that some people might be like, oh, I don't know, if you, or not so sure, but I'm like, nah, I love it. I don't even care if people don't like it. This is well, what, what I want to say. What type, of, what type of songs are those? Is it, is it a sound or is it a concept? No, it's just some of the, some of the concept. Like, I've got one song, this is a bit mad. It's not, I don't think it's mad anyway, but the music of it is a bit different to like, the rest and stuff. But um, all the production stuff is still in process, but I've still got to get that all right and that. But, um, yeah, I, I, the songs that I've got on there so far, I, I really enjoy it. They, they make me feel good and make people want to dance and feel happy and whatever, you know. And different emotions, different eclectic styles and that, but I'm happy with the song so far. I might, you know, I might go back in the studio and do something new and say, mm-hmm. okay, I prefer this to something else I've got in there, because you have to kind of choose what's the best and stuff, but so far so good. I feel, I feel good about it. It's a bit different to what everything else is out there and stuff. Is it more difficult now being signed than when you actually were trying to get signed, because I think there's a perception that once you're signed, it's a bit easier. But I mean, which one do you find like more difficult or more of a struggle when um, you're coming up, or now the pressures of having to having to deliver like, um, you know, the numbers and things of that nature? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really want the, the numbers and stuff like that. I don't, I don't, it don't really affect me right mm. now. Um, I don't really feel pressure. <laughs> to me. But the thing is, you know, it's because you're naturally like I said this to a lot of people that out of everyone who's out there, you're the one I, who I feel is the most naturally suited to this. You know, to you know, this whole being a, you're a showman, you could perform, you got the character, you got the voice. See, look at this video. No, but it's, I like you, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate no, it. but you've seen one. That you, it's like taking a 
you seem at ease with yourself. And I think people can see that even with your um, your videos, like the thing on the subway, even the last video that you did on the doll in the dream, like you're able to oh, yeah. just generate interest on your own. So I'm just saying that, you know, is it, you know, at some point the corporate interest is going to think, well, we have to start delivering. And yeah, I think I'm, uh, right now I don't feel too, I think it's probably once you release a couple songs yeah. and they none of them do like, mm -hmm. You know anything major in the charts, and I think it's also a problem if you don't seem like you have like if you don't seem like there's potential for it to actually get there. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a struggle, and if you don't seem like if you don't seem like you have a fan base or yeah. something like that, and I feel like even if I wasn't to get my songs like in the top ten mm -hmm. or you know anything like that, I think like my fan base is strong anyway yeah. that I've built so far, um, and even you know in parts of Europe as well, it seems to be bubbling up and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully you know my, my label and people see that already and like the fans I got there like really they seem you know really loyal and really strong and stuff like that. So even if this so far wasn't to get you know there like maybe the second album. Sometimes it takes time to grow and develop and that. Yeah, I do I do sometimes so I do sometimes worry that are my songs are they all right? Like mm -hmm. would they get into the charts because it's a bit different to what most people. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, listen to like it's not dancey, poppy mm -hmm. stuff, or I don't know, whatever. So I, I'll think, oh, is it gonna work? But I still have to just make music that I enjoy, you know, or else, or else I'll just quit, man. Mm -hmm. There's no need to do it. Because, like, when I get when I pass away, I still, I want to make sure they play that. But you know, like I, I had to bury it, like a family member, like recently, mm -hmm. and like. Um, we like played that song as well, and it's just like so that song just mashes me up. Like <laughs> I can't listen, I can't even sing it without like getting a bit 